How's it going guys? So, I haven't posted anything for quite a while, but I wanted to add something to my channel because I think it's really important that you guys understand what you're doing when you're using certain products on your vehicle. So, in the past I've done videos on like undercoating and I believe I did a video on chassis saver quite a while ago and I used that on this truck. Uh, back when it looked like complete crap, but that's what I'm gonna get into. Um, I put chassis saver on this stuff and it's basically kind of a repeat of POR 15. And so the process I did with that is I power washed the entire frame. I had the cab lifted off this thing, the box was completely removed and I power washed the whole thing. I let it dry in the hot sun for a few days. After that, I went through and sprayed rust mort on it. Rust mort is a chemical that is supposed to change rust back into metal or whatever. So I doused the entire frame with rust mort. Once that dried, I went through and painted the whole thing with chassis saver or knockoff of POR15, thinking this is going to be the best, greatest thing I can do for my truck. Well, I'm going to show you four years later what is going on with my frame. And honestly, I don't think I'll have this truck for a whole lot longer because of the damage that it's done. So let's take a quick look at that. All right, coming up in here. I have scraped off a lot of this rust, but you can look at the kind of I mean, you can see the old paint that I uh, plastered on everything, and it's just peeling off so bad. I have actually undercoated this thing with bar and chain because it, I noticed that it was starting to bubble. Kind of like, eh, if I can find a good spot, kind of like right here. You can see how it's bubbling right here. Well, there's a tremendous amount of this stuff all over the place. All over the place. Let's find some more here. Ah, oh, boy. All right, you can see up in there. See all the ripples? If I can zoom in here a little bit. All those bumps you see are little bubbles of rust. And that ultimately is going to completely rot out my frame. I'm hoping to save this thing by undercoating it with um, some New Hampshire undercoating. And the biggest reason why cars get pulled off the road, oh man, here's some really bad stuff right here. Just all this bubbling right here. I've scraped off some here and it comes off in huge sheets. The biggest reason why uh, these vehicles in New Hampshire get pulled off the road is because of rust. Just like what you're seeing here. It's excessive and that's why they get pulled off the road because it's deemed unsafe. Now if you're in a state like Michigan where they don't have state inspections or in a state where they have less strict inspections, you're probably not going to have to worry about this so much. Um, but in New Hampshire, this is a massive, massive problem. Just look at all this stuff on the floor that I've, you know, peeled off. You can see massive chunks here that I've ripped off the frame. It's a disaster. All right, let's take the crowbar here and just kind of slice at some of this stuff here, just to give you a little bit of an idea. save the best parts for you so back here this stuff was really bad like from here all the way to here was this huge giant piece of you know 
uh, chassis saver that peeled off. And I'm glad it did. Uh, so that, you know, the undercoating can actually get to it. Um, but man, alive. Like, oh, there we go. Just, he, that's, that's nothing compared to what everything I've been, like, ripping off. This whole thing was just peeling off. It's, oh, man. Don't use chassis saver on your, on your frame unless... Unless you have it completely, uh, like, bare metal. That would be my best suggestion as of right now. But I thought I did the best thing I could for this thing. Um, you know, putting the rust mort on the whole entire frame. Letting, I mean, and I soaked that stupid frame. And it did all right, you know, for... I think the first, I don't know, maybe two years, but wow, it is just, I mean, the rust on here is, is terrible. I am just amazed. It obviously did not, I mean, it's, I mean, I plastered everything and it's just coming off in huge chunks. And ultimately, this is just completely rotting out my frame. And I probably won't have a truck because of it in the near future. So, I mean, the best I can do, the best that I can do as of right now, is to simply give it an oil undercoating and snuff out all that oxygen that's getting in there and um, reacting with the metal. So, uh, don't use chassis saver. Just stick with undercoating. I personally use New Hampshire undercoating. I've been using it on, on a lot of my vehicles. Uh, one, two, three. Three of my own vehicles and several of my other friends who have also come back and had their cars re-undercoated or just touched up after a season or two. The stuff lasts quite a long time. But chassis saver, I mean, I'm not saying that stuff is the good a good choice as of right now so just seeing you saw what it did so if I had plastered the thing with just an oil undercoating after I had you know blasted it with the power washer I am pretty certain based on my experience it would definitely not look like that but the paint has created pockets where salt and brime and whatever they throw on the roads gets pulled up into these little pockets and they, it just stays there and it just rots. I mean, you gotta look at the rear end on this thing. I don't know if I, I mean, oh, come on. I really wanna get this. I mean, so I was, you know, I was peeling out huge chunks of metal out of my rear end. I'm thinking my rear end now is like compromised. <laughs> it, I'm telling you it's that bad. I mean, look at this right here. These are huge chunks of metal that are just coming off. I mean, look at the levels. You got level, this, you got the coating here, you got level one, level two, and now the actual rear end. You got two different levels of rust happening here. The, I mean, it's really bad. So, Again, I can't make this any more clear. I've, you know, sh trying to show you guys exactly what it's doing to my truck. And I love this truck. I love this truck. You know, I plow for friends and family around here. Having a small, convenient truck like this is really convenient. Because I built a salt and sand spreader for this thing. If you saw my other videos, you saw that too. This is a really convenient truck for me. And I probably won't have it for much longer because I put freaking, you know, a uh, chassis saver on this thing. So learn from my mistake and don't do that. Just stick with oil undercoating. So I'll end it with that. Hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. See you later.